Hello, this is Lucia with Como. I'm here today to show you how to use the Bundleboard G's onboard applications and how to download new applications onto the screen. The Bundleboard G series is an Android 8 display. This means you may use apps with it. The board itself comes with a series of apps that can be found in the apps page. The apps page includes apps such as an internet browser, an app for your USB camera, a clock app, a systems update application, an app that you can use to use open up PDF, PowerPoint, and image files, wireless casting apps, a file management app, a get started page, the settings, a whiteboard, and the MDM application. The browser can be used to run things such as videos. This is Valerie, Rachel, and Jesse are testing an adhesive myth to be in different things on the internet. You can zoom in on different items. You can bookmark items as well by clicking the star button. And to access your bookmarks, you click on the bookmark icon, which gives you access to any of your bookmarks. You can even access your files through your Google Drive. And the best part yet is that you can use the screen to overlay annotate on them. The camera app is great for accessing your USB document camera. The clock app is great for scheduling alarms and reminders, timers, and stopwatches. The File Explorer app can be used to access different files on your screen or on your USB drive. Over here, I have a USB drive plugged in. This can be plugged in through the back of your display or on the front USB ports of your display. And I'm going to open up my PDF file. As you can see, you can access your PDF file without having to plug in a computer. The eShare app and the iMair app are used for wireless sharing. You can use your Windows, Chrome, or Android device with eShare or your Apple devices using iMair. You can configure the device name over here and set a pin code if desired through selecting right here. Setting a pin code prevents people from casting onto your display. You can share up to four different devices at the same time. When you're ready to share your screen, Make sure you have the eShare app downloaded on your computer or you may visit the app store on your mobile device. In this example, I will be mirroring my Windows computer to the screen. The whiteboarding app is our digital whiteboarding app that can be used to annotate with. You can find more information on this app in the Bundleboard G overview video.
There are different ways to download applications onto the bundle board display. The first method is to open your browser. Some websites have the ability to download the application straight from the website. Look for the file in the downloads folder and launch the APK file. Now you will see your Zoom meeting. To find the app that you just downloaded, you can click on your apps page, and it's right there. If you have any applications that you want to delete, you can click and hold, and delete as needed by clicking the X button. The second way to download apps onto your screen is through plugging in the USB drive. To access the USB drive, click on Files, and find your USB drive. Find the APK file that you are trying to download onto your display. This APK file can be found online. Click through. Again, you can find your app through the apps page. And in this case, the new app I downloaded is right here. The third way to download apps onto the screen is through pushing them through our partners app. This Radex software can be purchased through your Como reseller and is used to push messages and apps onto the display. When you have the MDM software activated, you may open up the device through the platform, go to Repository Actions, Install Packages, over here, we have a lot of different packages installed. In order to install a package, go to Add New. You can install a package through a series of different methods, such as uploading a file or going to the Play Store. And copy and paste the URL. The app will pop up and you can click on it and click on apply. I can see now on my display that the OneNote app downloaded onto the screen. Now I can use the app. In this tutorial, we went over how to use the onboard applications that are pre-downloaded on the bundle board, as well as how to download new applications on the board. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at hello at Have a great day.